Hey guys. All right. So this is um, I'm gonna the last three have been primarily like orchestral bass. I'm gonna try try a little piece that has some uh, like electronic elements in it. But I'm gonna do this really quick because um, all I'm gonna be using are just some loop libraries and stuff, which I know I guess is lazy. But if you want to write quickly, this is the best way to go. Uh, although I'm using Omnisphere for some of this. Omnisphere is pretty cool for getting like organic sounding things. Um, so, oh yeah, so I play the loop in, and then I'll, what I'll do is I'll quantize the attacks and the releases. So they starts right on a, on the downbeat and ends on a downbeat. Goes for eight bars, and then I'll just copy paste it another eight bars. Some like high ticky-tocky kind of stuff. It's kind of like television music, I guess. Yeah. 24 music. Uh, there's definitely like an art to doing this kind of stuff really well, and it's definitely not my strength. Um, since I don't really consider this composing, it's more like sonic assembly. You're just kind of taking different Lego building blocks and, and kind of building a sequence. As opposed to working with like notes and orchestration and harmony and all that stuff. This is more like you're taking sounds and putting them together in a way that sounds good. So here I'll uh, every piece needs some orchestra in it, so the old Star Trek chord progression. Yes, all right, here's the BSL epic horns again. Here's something I, I kind of found from the VSL site on how to reprogram it, reprogram your samples so that they are, uh, are easier to play and you can do more with them and not have to deal with key switching. So this uh, VSL, um, what's it called? The uh, instrument, Vienna Instruments thing. If you go to Control Edit, what I've done is I've set it up. I put this. So if you play it louder than 60, uh, 60 velocity, it will play the staccato and sustain patches. But if you play lower than a 60 velocity. See, it'll pl it'll play the, the legato, so it automatically switches between the two samples without you having to do anything. Uh, so you can do like a legato line and then you know play staccato right after it without having to like have. What well, how I used to do it is have legato on one channel and have the staccato on another channel and just sort of like copy paste the staccato part onto the legato part. Uh, but I think this is going to be a better way to do this. 
And I did it with all <clears throat> I did it with all the brass and all the woodwinds. So it's uh, really nice to be able to play it in and get it done and then have to worry about you know, going down to the staccato channel and then switching to the legato channel. And like I said, you don't have to worry about key switching because it does it automatically. stems at the same time here. Yeah, I've recorded all the stems. I probably should just select the ones that are actually have audio on them. I don't waste disk space, but there you go. See ya. <laughs>